Today we're visiting with textile artist Carolyn Dahl that is presenting her lovely kimono quilts at T Plus Art this summer. Hello Carolyn. Hello Lee. It's wonderful to be here and be able to show my kimono quilts in this show with all these tea bowls. It's marvelous. And one of the things about my quilts that's really interesting is that they were inspired by a trip to Japan. Mm -hmm. And so they referenced the kimono without actually being a wearable kimono. And many people come to my studio and they'll say, well, where do you get this beautiful fabric? And I'll say, well, I do all of it because if you come to my studio, you probably be bored because everything is white. All my bolts of fabric are white. I apply all the color with many different techniques. I use dyeing, painting, there's leaf printing, I do beads, uh, stenciling, I may do all kinds of stamping techniques, the whole array I put into these quilts. And then I do the stitching. And I like very much also the use of metallic paint or stones that glitter because it adds a certain light to the surface of the quilt. And this one is particularly evident that way. I had a uh, flying fish that I actually did a print of. And then from that print, I did a stencil. So that was an actual fish that I got in Hawaii. And then I've added these holographic little stones. And what's interesting about these is these are really fish eyes that are used in lures. That's their original purpose. And I found a manufacturer that had those and I thought they were beautiful because they shimmer in a particular way and almost make it look like the fish is wet and it's just jumped out of the water, which is kind of the concept of the quilt. As you can see the line there of the water, the underwater flowers, and then any kind of vegetation that you might see if you were scuba diving or going under. So it's kind of a quilt that we're talking about the sky and the leaping into the sky, taking a risk, and also all the magic of something underwater. And yet all held within the shape of a kimono, which is what the Japanese do, of course. Any kind of pattern, any kind of topic can be put on their kimono and then they wear the landscape or they wear their beauty. And I always think that we should wear more beauty because we're always in someone's vision. So why not, besides art on the wall, make it beautiful in what we wear for everybody else too. Thank you, Caroline. Come visit us at T Plus Art this summer.